So now we have made the basic shape of our 3D drawing. We'll add more details to this. And for that, I'll start with this move tool and I'll just move this 3D drawing out of this image. And now select the image then right click, select isolate and hide objects. Now select all of these objects and erase them. They are no longer required. And now let's click on this home icon or the world UCS icon. So this will bring our UCS to the default condition. And now let's move back to the top view. And let's change the visual style to this wireframe which is not very clear. So I'll change it once again to hidden. That makes it quite clear. So now go to this polyline tool and start making a polyline from the center of this shape. And for that you may need to turn on this object snap. Click on the center and then turn on this polar tracking and make a line in horizontal direction just like this and click at this point. Now bring it downwards and click approximately at this point. Now move it towards right and click here. Now move it upwards, click at this point, move it towards left and track the center point and click and join it with the starting point which is the center in this case. Now we need to modify this geometry a little bit. So for that select the polyline and you can move it a little bit inside like this. Okay, now you can clearly see that this shape is on the center of this cap and we can use a rotate or revolve tool to make the 3D. And before that, let's add chamfer to these corners. So I'll go to this chamfer tool and select the distance and click at any two point in the space to select the distance of chamfer and press enter to apply the same distance on both the lines and click on these two lines and here we have the chamfer. Now we can also add the fillet on the second edge or the second vertex and for that I'll select the fillet tool. Now select the radius and click on any two points in the drawing area and that will be the radius and now click on these two points or these two lines. Now press enter to repeat the fillet tool, select the multiple option and now click on this line and on this line, now click on this and this line. So this will add small radii to both the vertices. Now let's escape this command. Now select it and go to this fly out, select the revolve tool and select the center. Now click anywhere in the downward direction and press enter. So this will make the 3D cap shape just like this. And you can see it by rotating it in the 3D plane. Now we'll add a groove on this side of the geometry and for that I'll select this sphere tool. We can make a sphere on this part or we can also make it somewhere outside this geometry. So I'll make it somewhere outside just at this point and I'll make a sphere of approximate this radius. And now we'll move it on the bottom of this 3D. For that, I'll select the move tool and from this center point, I'll move it to any of these points and here it is. So I'll move it here. Now we will place it exactly at the center. For that, I'll select the appropriate view, change the visual style to shade it to make it more clear. Now select the 3D sphere and using this gizmo, move it. If the gizmo is not visible, you can make it visible also from this flyout. Now this looks approximately at the center so we'll also change its height. So I'll rotate it and now using the Y axis of this gizmo I'll move it a little bit downwards. Just like this. In order to move freely in the 3D space you may need to turn off object snap and polar tracking options. And I'll move it a little bit upwards again and this seems appropriate so I'll leave it here. So now let's go to the subtract tool, select the 3D, press enter and select this sphere and press enter again. So this will subtract the sphere from the 3D solid and now we'll apply the fillet. So go to solid tool, select the fillet edge 
and now select the radius and click on any two points to decide the length of this radius and these are the two points now click on the edge and the size of radius is very small so I'll click on radius again and this time I'll apply a larger radius value and here it is now press enter twice to accept the fillet value and here we have it the 3d solid on the bottom of this geometry now we need to add grips on the top of this cap and before that we'll make multiple layers to place our object so i'll click on this new layer and let's make two layers and change the color of both of these layers so i'll apply this red and green to the second one okay now let's close this layer properties manager and now select the cap and change its layer to layer 1 and now press escape key select the complete 3d bottle shape and go to the layer properties manager select the drop down and change it to layer 2 and press escape key okay so now we will add the grip and for that I'll go to the top view and now make a line on this side and it should be very close to the boundary of this cap just like this and also make a very small circle with this radius approximately of this radius and now select the sweep tool select the circle press enter and now select this line and here we have it the 3d Now we need to move this 3D exactly at the boundary of this bottle. For that I'll select it and I'll turn on this object snap and move it firstly at the center of this cap. And now we'll move it on the boundary. For that we need to first change the visual style to see it more clearly and I'll change it to X-ray. Now select the 3D solid. And here it is select the move tool now click on this point and track it along the x axis like this now click on this top view and zoom into this area select the 3d and click on this move tool and move it close to this end point of the bottle cap first we need to just move it a little bit downward select the move tool again and move it on the left side so that it approximately touches the boundary of this cap and now you can clearly see that it is partially inside and partially outside okay so now we'll make the multiple copies of this using array tool so I'll go to the top view and now select this solid and select the fly out and select this polar array tool now click on axis of rotation click on this center and click on second point along this axis and now we can change number of items and here let's change it to 36 which is not good so 52 again we need to increase it so let's now change it to 80 and we again need to increase it so let's now change it to 96 and nope let's change it even larger value and 140 now this value seems appropriate so I'll keep it at 140 and now close the array and here we have it the grips are now added to this 3d shape now we can move it all on a single layer and for that I'll first isolate the main 3d solid object and now select the complete geometry and join it so for that select the union tool select the complete geometry and press enter so now it is a single unit instead of multiple copies of different solids now select it and go to this layer drop down and select layer 1 now this layer cap is on layer 1 now end this object isolation to bring back the 3d solid and you can also change the visual style to see it more clearly so I'll change it to shaded and here we have it the 3d solid so in this way we have added more details to this 3d solid and in the next video we will prepare our drawing for final rendering and create the rendering 